blocked fi Firewire as a connection? I've had no experience with using Firewire for connecting the IP or or Firewire. It Sorry? works, but it's not really extensively used, so how reliable it's going to be over a long period of time under high load is kind of unknown. Probably it's going to be fine. Maybe the new FireWire that comes out above 800 might be, but it might be good. Yeah. yeah. So Tom, when you used FireWire, how did you find it in terms of throughput and latency? Uh, it was good. It's not. It's it's probably roughly equivalent to the real world world performance you get with consumer grade and with gigabit hardware. Um, but consumer grade, right, yeah. Like sustained load and stuff. I I don't know if anyone's really using it yet. I haven't had it. Even they do Okay. I mean, honestly, when, when you are looking for um, for performance out of your network, don't buy consumer grade. Okay, it's like you do not buy a consumer grade product of performance as is, is, is your is your driver. Um, you need to be looking at um, taking a step up. You're going to be spending more money, but at the same time, your switch now isn't that expensive. It gives you all sorts of pretty graphs too. that tells you all sorts of stuff that's happening on your network. So yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. So your choices do matter. Okay. So out of every single one of these, uh, you're you're in a situation where you have a huge amount of choice that you can actually make. You're going to um, you're going to have to do your research in terms of your, of your specific environment, and you're going to actually have to go away and make some choices. And some of those choices you might have to go back and tweak. Some of those choices you might have to go and make some changes too. Um, I personally advocate experimenting and uh, obviously try and experiment on, uh, on things that are not quite so mission critical. Uh, that might mean building a little network in your office and then load testing it and do some specific timings, try and get some metrics around what you're trying to achieve and then compare that. Always go back to what you had before. and. You know, say, right, well, I have achieved 10% here. I've achieved, I've, I've achieved another 15% here. And in fact, this one here gave me a huge difference in need. It actually didn't cost me a hell of a lot of money. Okay, so always go back to the metrics. Don't just simply go upon what other people tell you is fantastic. Don't just go upon what, uh, what you perceive. Measure it. Get some metrics. And if you get it all right, have your client and you're going to be happy too. Okay? Exactly. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Thanks very much. <laughs>